Stop castrating babies okay. in the street brutally. Stop police brutality! Stop police brutality! Stop police brutality! Stop police brutality! When the cops was all here, the guys, the boys were running. The one young man, Darren, he's from civic school. He knows the civics. He done nothing wrong, so he stood there. And this girl, this um, this woman, this police woman, somehow was supposedly uh, uh, patting him down. I don't understand how her hands got where her hands did. Actually, took her hand and squeezed his testicles so hard that he busted a vein and there's a possibility that this young man would not be able to have children. We're not even sure if he's going to walk properly again. But I'm not trying to blame every cop out there. I want the police not just to protect their own but to protect us. That's what their jobs are. I think somebody forgot. Has this affected the way you trust police? I believe the past few years has changed the way I felt about police. Okay? I, I will call the police and I, I do hope that they're there. But it doesn't mean that I trust them. It's racist. Until you change the society around, you're gonna get the same effects over and over. I mean you can you can petition your uh, congressman, you can take it here, take it there, do anything you want to do on a political level. But who created the system? How do organizers can fight back on this? There was a case of a brother, Askia Sabor, who in 2010 was was brutally beaten by the police. He was facing five felonies and he took it to court and defeated them on every one. You know, and wow. is now turning around and suing them. In his case, a, a whole coalition came together and organized to support him and didn't let the case die. Yeah. And they were in court every day, so the jury saw that. You know, and, and that's the kind of thing that we have to do is like not to just not to let it die, not to not to let it just disappear because the police are terrorizing our communities. And we're being hunted. I just don't think that it's it's appropriate for the police to have the ability to be able to make that decision. You put you put these weapons on their hips, whether it's a gun or a taser or a billy club, and they, it's their discretion when they get to use that and when they don't. It's up to them whether you live or whether you die, whether you're able to have children or whether you're not. Like, I, I don't think that they are qualified to be able to handle that. And this is exactly why. Like, you see what happens. The police think they're super people because they can get away with everything because they're FOP, they ask them for everything. There's something wrong with that. Do you have a message for the police of Philadelphia? Yeah. For all the good police out there, Speak up! Because if you don't speak up, nobody will. And then everybody's gonna think you're just like them.